Okay, so um, in this example, we are going to see how we can actually uh, play with the caps lock and um, printing output on the console using Lua, specifically Risk Lua on RiskOS. So um, I already loaded my uh, flash caps lock file into my favorite editor, which is StrongEd, but you can use any editor really. And I already loaded the uh, Risk Lua support. In another video, we will see how to install Risk Lua, by the way. Okay, so the first line loads the RiskOS library uh, in Risk Lua. We will need this in order to be able to uh, do syscalls in Risk Lua. The next three lines, so this line um, defines a clock from OS clock. The um, third line, as we did for the um, BBC basic, and I believe also the C example, we use a state variable. Now, uh, this works a little bit differently than what we did in BBC basic and in C, because Lua uh, doesn't truly um, deal with booleans. Um, so what it does is if a variable is nil, then that is false and every other value is actually true. So in this particular case, to make it simpler, I just set the state to one. And what I'm going to do is um, I am going to just make it negative here. So the logic is the same, but I'm not really using booleans. The next, I defined a local variable quit. Now, as we said before, Boolean evaluation in Lua means that if a value is nil, then that's false. And when is not nil, then it's true. I use quit just to create an infinite loop. So here you can see on the main program, I say while not quit do. Now this will create an infinite loop because I never uh, set the variable quit. So it was always going to be false and therefore it will go on forever. Next, what I do is like in the BBC basic example, I set a variable T0 in this case to clock value. So the current time on the system, basically. Okay. And then I evaluate like I did in BBC basic, the value of state with an if in this case. So if state is equal to one, then we will print tick on the console. Otherwise, we will print talk. This is the end of the if statement. What we do next is we invert the value of state. In this case, the trick, as I mentioned before, is just making negative. So I don't change this value, just make it between minus one and one, minus one and one. Next, we will call again osbyte so uh, Cisco number six, we will pass the 202 value and we will request to change bit four with a uh, mask of 255. Now what the effect of this is we toggle the value of the caps lock on the keyboard. But as mentioned on the uh, BBC basic example and on the C example, this doesn't actually change the LED on the keyboard. So we need to also call again osbyte, this time with the value 118, to actually update the LED on the keyboard. And finally, as in every other example, we have a wait that in this case in Lua is written as follows. We wait for a second and then we end the now, if you're not familiar with Lua, the dash dash is the symbol to, uh, that identifies a comment. Okay, So whatever is um, preceded by dash dash means a comment. OK, so um, let's execute this code. Now, in all the previous example, we executed um, code in a single task fashion. OK, so while we were executing the code, nothing else in RISCOS was actually working. In this particular case, um, I will run the example into a task window, which is a facility that helps to run 
uh, code that is not specifically written to be a desktop application in multitasking. Now, to do this in Lua, we click on the Lua icon, we click then on the utilities, and then we load the task W on the icon bar. Here is where I saved Flash Caps Lock in Lua. So all I have to do is just drag and drop the executable on task W icon. And as you can see, it is now printing on the screen tick tock, tick tock every second. If we have a look at the keyboard LED uh, for caps lock, we will see that it is blinking at the same speed.